I'm going to start creating a tank thread with a wire deformer. Before we do that, let's create the inside, uh, the wheel and the gear for the tank thread. So I'll open a new scene with one polycube 7 here, which is going to be one of my tank thread. I'll leave this for later. And first thing I'm going to do is create a nerve circle. And then rotate this 90 degrees in rotate Z and modify freeze transformation. Okay, and then here on uh, radius, I'm going to increase this to 10. And, mm, and it, you can see that if I go to the vertex mode, there is going to be 8 CVs on this circle. You can use this one, but there's some limitation on uh, detail uh, shapes. So I'm going to add more. So select the curve. There's going to be under the curves menu. There's a uh, rebuild. Go to the option. And I'll just set a number of spans to 32 and rebuild. So now I have more uh, freedom of uh, creating uh, shapes. Okay, I have this one and I don't want the history here. So edit, delete by type history, erase everything in here. And uh, this is going to be the tank thread, uh, uh, tank thread. So uh, what I'm going to do here, I, I'm going to name this as base. And I'm going to duplicate this three times more. Control D, one, two, three. And I'll name this as target one. Copy it and paste it to the other curves so that I have uh, actually I have four curves. Uh, for now, I'm not using the curve, so I'll just leave it as it is. And I'm going to create the inside part of the tank thread. So I'll use just a simple cylinder for now. Uh, select the cylinder, rotate this 90 degrees on rotate Z and I'll increase the size maybe I'll just leave it as 4 and uh, I'll place it 1 to the side and Control D duplicate this and I'll Place the other one to the other side. Control D again. I'll create one for the top area. I'll scale it down a little bit, maybe 0.5. And uh, duplicate this again. And I'll put it to the side. Maybe I'll just put a negative number here. Okay, and one more last thing, a cube. I'm going to use the depth to connect those two. And uh, yeah, the geometry is finished. You can add more details later if you want. But from here, I'm going to add a, con a controller for to move this thing I'm I'm going to make this rotate so I'm going to create use a circle and name it as uh, I'll just name it as controller for now rotate this 90 degrees in rotate Z and modify freeze transformation group this control G on your keyboard to group it and move it to the place where you have and actually it's hard to select from here so I'm going to move it forward so that we can easily se select the controller okay and uh, what I'm going to do next is select all the geometry 
on top and shift select the controller and hit P on your keyboard so now if I select my controller and rotate it it's going to rotate with the geometry okay next go to the side view and I'm going to make a linear line from this uh, circle to this uh, small circle here uh, to from this cylinder to the top cylinder you can just eye measure it or uh, I can I will just use a simple uh, curve to just know where that is located maybe I need to move this one too okay I think that seems matching I'll just set this to 45 okay so actually for this one I don't need other attributes so I select all the rest of the attributes here and right mouse right mouse and then uh, lock and hide select it and I want to make a limitation on this so control A go to controller the first tab and rotation I'll set this rotation I'll limit X to negative 45 to 45 so now if I select this one and if I start rotating it's going to have a limitation between 45 degrees I don't need this line so I'll delete that and next what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new attribute here uh, so modify add attribute and I'm going to make a lower in here add close that and what this does whenever I move shift this the tank tread is going to uh, lower spin on top of this uh, uh, here okay good I'll just set this back to zero and next what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I have three four actually four curves here I'm going to leave the base as a circle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the target curves and finally select the base and do a uh, where is it uh, deform under the deform there is going to be blend shape so once I have that uh, I, you can see that there is going to be target or those three targets on under the base curve so uh, next what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to uh, make a shape of each target so target one is going to be a sh shape that is wrapped this uh, sh this uh, shape here on target two I'm going to make a neutral pose uh, shape like the the curve is covered this one and third is going to be when this is going to be rotated in, in this direction so I'll stop the video and come back after I finish that